Today I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft L to construct a climate graph like this one. This is how the precipitation is on this axis and it's a blue bar graph, but the average monthly temperature uses this axis and is a red line graph. Start, take your data, highlight the months and all the way down to monthly temperature and monthly precipitation. Go insert, select 2D column graph, and notice Microsoft Excel will default to their color scheme. And this one, total monthly precipitation is a bar graph, but it's an orange, yet monthly, average monthly temperature is using this axis, but is a small bar graph. So we want to change that. First of all, let's change the chart type. Click on the bar graph with monthly temperature, go to where it says change chart type, and here you get the two options. Change average monthly temperature, change that to a line graph and put that on the secondary axis. And notice you get a little preview here, click OK. So we need to make this line graph red, so click here, right click, outline, change that to red. And for the bar graph, okay, right click, fill, and we're going to change that to blue. But again, we can tidy this up a little bit more. So on the right hand side y axis, the secondary vertical, click where the numbers are, then right click and click where it says format axis. Appearing here are some options. We can change the minimum to zero, press return, and you notice that the y axis has changed. We want the tick marks, we want to put that on the outside. And we want to change the colour. So we want to put the line we have a solid line and we want that to be black. Notice how that's changed. We can do the same again on the vertical, the primary vertical axis. Click, change that to a solid line, black. Click on the axis options, keep that as it is, go all the way down. Where it says tick marks, change that to outside. Now these smaller gray lines can be a bit confusing. So if you click on one and then press delete, they can go. Where it says the month of the year, again we want to change that, so we click on axis options again. Keep all that is. You can change the axis position if you want to, to be on the tick marks or between the tick marks. For this it's probably better between the tick marks. On the tick marks we want to put that on the outside. And again we want to change the colour to black. On the outside we want to change this to black to make it stand out a bit. Double click where it says chart title, look at a climate graph for Manaus City, Brazil. And now we need to give some X and Y axis labels. Let's click on one, chart design, add chart element, axis titles, we want to give the primary vertical. I want to change that to total monthly precipitation. Give that some units. And again, on this one, we click add chart element axis title, but this time we're using the secondary vertical. What you can do to make it easy, you can copy and paste some text. And so if we click here, highlight, copy. Text, just paste it in and it changes. Okay, in this one we need to put the months, so again, chart design, axis title, primary horizontal, we're going to change that to month. So just to repeat, what we've done is we've changed two bar graphs, we've changed it into a combo graph. So we've got a bar graph with a line graph, we've changed the colours, we've added a secondary axis, we've labelled each axis with a title, and we include the x-axis. And that's how you use Microsoft Excel to construct a climate graph. 